This is without exception the wildest car meet I've ever been to. There's as many hypercars as there are supercars here. Yes. It's unbe I've never, I genuinely, I'm not just saying this, I've never seen anything like it. All the cars that say Hyper NFT on them, yeah. they're all owned by one guy. <laughs> So like the Regera, He's having a good time. The Regera that matches the Agera, yeah. the two light gray ones, yeah. Bugatti Chiron Curse Sport, Apollo IE, Senna GTR with the Marlboro livery. Yeah. Those are all one guy's cars. All one guy's cars. All right, we just uh, arrived at this Cars and Coffee. Apparently, this is like a bit of a sort of under the radar one. Uh, it seems to bring out the sort of purists. There's a lot of classic cars here, but a car which is currently close to our heart, uh, having recently introduced a 355 GTS on the channel, is this LA spec. 355 GTS. I love it in white. It looks so good. These for me have found this like perfect balance between ridiculous noise, sensible speed. That's what I got it. They said this is the only one painted yeah. in white, the, the only GTS ever painted in. There were only Seriously? four 355s ever painted in white. No way. Yeah, wow, it's, it suits it so much. It looks fantastic. Dude, I like it. I like it. 96 GT seats. Uh, so this is Magnus Walker here. They never believed that I would really fly. I had to go demonstrate. 100 smiles per gallon. <laughs> there you go, man. All right, come check this out. This is a new 992 GT3 Touring in the styling of the 911R. When it drove in, took a glance at it, I thought 911R's turned up. Sure enough, it's a 992 Touring. Your houndstooth interior, green belt. Two Rubystone 964s have turned up. There's one which has just rolled up, there's one which has been here for a while. Check out these. Look at these, these are basically like a sort of semi-slick competition tire. Looks to be a signal yellow roof turbo Florio. Look at this, the air intakes here. That is totally niche. Because the climate's so good, everything's so well looked after. Like it's, everything's pristine, you know? There's not that sort of element of grime that we get for the majority of the year over in the UK where there's just often our wheel arches are just full of crud. Here, everything looks like it's rolled out of the showroom. Look who's back, I'm in your patch now. I'm in your <laughs> patch, man, this is great. So if anyone tuned in to the Goodwood content a few weeks ago, uh, Drew and I had an impromptu walk and talk around the paddock. Uh, Beverly Glen, uh, Cars and Coffee, um, basically a bunch of local, like all drivers, like everyone here drives their cars, collectors, they bring all sorts of stuff. These guys could have a 250 short wheelbase and they'll bring their little alpha because it's more fun to drive up the canyons for today. And I, I love it. What have you brought down? Uh, I brought my uh, 18 Turbo S exclusive. There you have. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So nice. What a machine. Uh, perfect car for California. I have a little bit of ride height. Still pretty special. Um, uh, agate so gray nice. car. I think they're. 10 or 15 agate of the of the 500 exclusives. Uh, the gold accented wheels, you still get the, uh -huh. the carbon hood, roof, rear section. The interior, the interior is so special. Every single thing that could on. be covered in leather, wow. they covered in leather. Isn't it amazing what, by and large, what small details make a massive difference? I the mean, it's a totally different leather interior. Leather wrapped and stitched uh, vents. Are, are like one of my favorite little <laughs> details on that car. <laughs> I love uh, it. I mean, there, there, isn't, there isn't a leather option that these basically didn't yeah. have. Um, and then like even like the carbon trim here yeah. has actually a copper that's so woven it has through. A, it has a complimentary uh, copper contrast weave. Yeah, I, I don't want to even around. know what CXX would charge for that separately. <laughs> but you just don't see them. No. No, I mean, a lot of them just got mothballed because it's a limited car and sure. Porsche buyers that buy limited cars keep them. <laughs> oh, this one's got 20,000 no. miles on it now. Nice work. Check this out. 2000 Ferrari 550 Maranello. Manual, naturally aspirated Ferrari V12. That has to be a slice of the automotive holy grail in itself. The interior on this Daytona style seats, quilted leather parcel shelf. And this is immaculate Rosso Corsa paint. It's for sale. 16,750 miles. If I lived in LA, I'd probably be giving you a Corsa. <laughs> Dude, our Uber driver this morning was 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 borderline insane. <laughs> Dude, she she was crazy, man. Like for the first three quarters of the journey, she didn't say a word, and then all of a sudden, Everything. she kicks into how much road rage she got involved in, and how she almost fought a man on a petrol station forecourt. Yeah, I was like, cool, let and me the, out. <laughs> <laughs> you get a lot of people 
that just sit at lights and then don't realize the light has changed because for like, they're on the phone? yeah. So then that leads to some people who are very calm and just okay, and other people who, if you let the light go on like the one second, they are on the horn. But then like you get out to like the uh, you get out to the, the canyons, different world. Everyone's just, chill. It, it's well, I mean, chill. People generally drive pretty quick. Most drivers will, when there's like a pull out, will actually if like they, they see like cars that are you know kind of like really on them, they'll pull over to the side. They'll kind of let okay. you go. Like a weekday, midday. That's great. Some of the best roads in the world. Yeah. I mean, you can't. There's no other place I've been that replicates. This is yeah. prime axle falling. Yeah. I love it, man. This, this is the street, right? It's a, uh, I will say it gets, it gets loved and enjoyed. Used, but isn't right? it better to use them, you know? Oh my God. It's so much better to use these things. It's work. So cool. You know, and then it actually... It, it, and, and this, you know, this thing went last year. I had a bunch of stuff done to it. And yeah. I went and drove it, drove it a thousand miles over the course of three days. And really? It was just, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah it was, and it was phenomenal. Just, it was happy as a clam. The car just worked. So when you can get the blood flowing through it, they, it definitely thanks you for it, right? I mean, I've, I've come back to cars which have been sat for a while, and they hate you for it. They don't, they don't start. They feel rough when they do start. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, things otherwise they, they deteriorate. I mean, yeah. you know, you especially especially on older stuff, you know, you leave, leave fuel sitting in it, fuel, uh -huh. fuel, you know, fuel gets old, starts to, you know, things things just stop working, and so that's like you gotta love them and enjoy them, and then they just yeah. If you do, I love they, you back. Yeah, exactly. No, but no, seriously. <laughs> I know what you're saying. No, for sure. So like, like the number of times where I'll hear guys complain about, you know. Oh man, I had this car and it just didn't work. But it's like you know, you 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 are yeah. taking it out once you a drive year. You drove it once last year, and then and then you and then you like fix the, the things that break, and then you don't, and then you just don't use it again. Yeah, right, look at this. So I've not been here for a long, long time. Is that a helicopter in the in the lobby? That's a helicopter <laughs> in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I'd be at a two seventy five. So. Uh. I really appreciate that, man. A Honestly, pleasure. and it is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. What a machine! I, I love that it gets used. How is how it should be? Is how it should that, be. That's the way. That, that's the way. In my opinion that anything that anything special should be. It's, it's not as I like to say. They're not. They're not made of ours. Okay. All right. The beauty of starting the day at four a.m. is that you can kickstart your morning with a cars and coffee, fill it with other car activities in the day, and then finish the day with another car event. And right now we've picked up some wheels from our friends at Gunther Works. It's not a Gunther Works Porsche, sadly, that's coming soon. But what it is, is a manual M3. We don't actually have this generation M3 in the UK in manual. So that in itself is pretty cool. And we are on our way to Protective Film Solutions to round the day off with another car event. And I'm hearing big things. <laughs> Still one day, got to tick that F40 box, one day. I'm thinking like a resto mod F40 one day would be exceptional. There's a Sabre here. Yeah, this is, this is how these guys do car events over here, right? This is just like a car park car event. And conveniently, this is the Gunther Works car that we drove back in the bunker on, uh, in the winter of last year. How are we doing? Fancy seeing you here, man. How's things? Everything good? Good to meet you. How are you, man? How are you? You good to good? This is a next level car meet. I've never seen a car meet like this. This is without exception the wildest car meet I've ever been to. <laughs> there's, a, there's an Apollo IE here. There are 10 of these in existence. And there's one casually here. Yeah. There's more Koenigseggs here than there are at like the Geneva Motor Show. It's unbelievable. It's just in a car park. And with somebody there's else two Agueras there. over there. There's a Ruggera here. There's another Agueras. There's, another, there's a Zonda, whatever F or whatever it's called. That's a Huayra a BC. It's and totally there's, there's a couple of other car parks, but there's all Porsches and whatnot further up, which we're going to have a look at. This is but wild. this is Bugatti Corner. Bugatti Corner. Have you seen Bugatti, what's going Bugatti on Corner. Here? This is ridiculous. Mate. Look. Holy hell, dude. This is absolutely off the chart. These are just people who've just brought these cars down. These are like yeah. road registered cars. Yeah. These are all people from, from around here. 
<laughs> You've seen it. Welcome to Southern California, mate. <laughs> this morning, we went to the Peterson Museum, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and they, they had fantastic. a hypercar room dedicated to hypercars. Yeah. And there are three to four times more hypercars here than there are at the, the Peterson Museum. Yeah, the museum without without exception. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. unbelievable. They never believed that I would really fly. I had to go demonstrate. I had to set them straight. They hate when you elevate. So I didn't know what to expect. Dave was like, Damon's gonna be at this thing. Okay, come by. Oh, you thought it might be some little rinky dink. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I didn't know. I turned up and I was like, holy. Real, real. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, man. It was yeah. really serious. Yeah. This is why you know now, as a Canadian, why uh -huh. I've always come here for my main content. Uh -huh. Like, if you want to pump out consistent supercar, hypercar content, this is where it's at. This is the mecca in the world. There's nowhere in the world. There's nothing like it. Where the weather is this consistent, the people are this rich and they get the allocations. I swear <laughs> it all comes here. Dude, there's as many hypercars as there are supercars here. Yes. It's unbe I've never, I genuinely, I'm not just saying this, I've never seen anything like it. It's so a, a, a good friend of mine, yep. that all the cars that say Hyper NFT on them, yeah. they're all owned by one guy. <laughs> so like the Regera, having a good time. The Regera that matches the Agera, yeah. the yeah. two light gray ones, that's, the uh, that's his. Bugatti Chiron Curse Sport that's fully yeah. exposed carbon with the blue, Yeah. The um, Apollo IE, okay. The uh, <laughs> the uh, Senna GTR with the Marlboro livery. Yeah, those are all one guy's. All car. one guy's car. Yeah, good good friend of ours. This guy sounds like he's having a good time. All right, this is it. This is um, the perfect time to wrap up as the Codex eggs are rolling out. We're gonna uh, say goodbye right now. This is kind of like a Martin Brundle F1 style grid walk with some of the craziest cars I have ever seen. 